guys I am here with our homeschooling Easter um, for 2024 I am a little sick right now so bear with me as I have like a stuffy nose and a sore throat <coughs> so I just I wanted to get this video filmed soon because I know Easter is right around the corner and so I know there are some homeschool families that might be looking for ideas out there. Easter is such a big deal in our family because we are a faith-based family so we Easter is a big holiday and I have mentioned before um, when I do Easter baskets I go all out for my kids Easter baskets as well. So that is no different when it comes to homeschool. However, there was something that came up that is a big change to our family and it's a good change. I We are, are very blessed that we are able to do this change that's coming to our family. However, the change that is just is so big is just so happens to fall right around Easter so that kind of put a damper on all of my Easter homeschool planning because I just I don't know if we're even going to be here at home for Easter um so I do Every time I try to create my own unit study, I always start off by making a list or a schedule of what is it's going to look like, whatever that unit study is going to look like or whatever it is, whatever I need to purchase for it and things like that. So because Easter is so up in the air right now for us, I wasn't able to create the whole schedule I had to create the schedule with um, what we know right now and what we know right now is that on April 1st we will not be here which is Monday after Easter however in order for us to do what we need to do on April 1st we will probably have to leave on that Friday um, it's I don't want to say too much um, until we know for sure but because there is the possibility that we will be leaving on that Friday we will not be having school on uh, Friday now when it comes to Easter because Easter always falls on uh, Sunday I do have school just that week I do have school the whole seven days to get prepared for Easter I do I know you know I start with Palm Sunday and then I work all my all the all the week up until Sunday of resurrection so um because I kind of as of now know that there is a possibility that we are not going to be here on that Friday um, that good Friday my scheduling right now only goes up until um, Thursday the 28th so as you see I haven't done anything we probably won't know if it's a for sure for sure of April 1st um, until probably another week, a week and a half, maybe even just a little bit later than that. So until then, but I wanted to get this video made so you guys can get some ideas. But so the first things first is my scheduling. And so I have Palm Sunday um, and then I have Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we are going to start off our Easter unit study. Now Liam is only six years old. So Easter, my I like to create my own unit studies. So this unit study is very short. You know, it's probably going to be about half an hour each day. 
So the first thing that I have on the schedule is on Sunday the 24th, which is Palm Sunday. I have that we will be watching um, a kid's video on Palm Sunday. If you guys have seen, if you guys know what the Minnow app is, they have a lot of kids faith-based shows on there. And there is, um, I think, an episode I saw that talks about uh, Palm Sunday. So I thought that would be something that Liam and I could do on Palm Sunday. I also did order him this Humphreys First Palm Sunday book. Um, it's a very, very short book. It's a hard, hard book. I got it off of Amazon. I will link everything that I can. I don't like all of my purchases. I will link them in the description. But this is something that we are going to be reading on Palm Sunday. And then we will be doing um, a craft. And I will post a picture somewhere in this video of the craft. Um, but basically we're going to be making some palm leaves out of um, handprints. Um, so you really just need some popsicle sticks and then just like some green paper and then just your kids palms is really all you need. So that's what I have on the schedule for Sunday. Monday, I, I for Monday, I wanted to go back to the very beginning for Monday. Now, Liam has heard the story of Adam and Eve, but I just kind of want it to be a refresher of the story of how sin entered the world. So I thought that Monday, the 25th, we would talk about Adam and Eve. Um, once again, there's going to be a video on that um, Monday of Adam and Eve and how sin entered the world. And then... I would like to purchase an Adam and Eve book. The book that I had um, wanted to purchase is on back order. Um, so I haven't, I don't know if it's going to arrive on time. Um, and then, yeah, and then there's going to be a craft for that Monday as well with Adam and Eve. I haven't quite found a craft yet, but so I'm still looking. But yeah, so that's what we're going to focus on for Monday the 25th is we're going to focus on Adam and Eve and sin. Uh, just kind of a refresher of why uh, God did what he did and died on the cross for us. So Tuesday, a uh, holy Tuesday, we will be uh, working on an, an Easter hidden pictures and this is I got this um, from Christian bookstore and this was um, I think I actually might have even purchased this when it was on sale I think it was on sale at one point and I purchased it so basically what it is is it's you get he gets to color some pages but then it also he has to find all of these hidden pictures in the pages so so this is what we will be working on on Tuesday is we will be working on the Easter hidden pictures and then um, on that Tuesday also the craft that I have for that day is a magnetic egg so he gets to decorate his own eggs these are like these are styrofoam eggs and then turn um, them into magnets that he gets to put on the refrigerator so that's going to be the craft for that Tuesday and then for Tuesday's story is I have this called Benjamin's box um, the story of the resurrection eggs um, so that is going to be what we will be doing on Tuesday the 26th so that day is going to be a fairly easy day um, not too much going on for that Tuesday. Um, so yeah, this book is actually pretty pretty long. Um, so I figured because this book is actually a lot longer than what um, a typical um, book for a six-year-old. Like these are, like when you look at this Humphrey's First Palm Sunday book, it's, I mean, it's really not that long. Like they're very short pages. Um see like I can get this book done in probably two to three minutes um, but this one is longer 
So this book is going to take a little bit longer to read and I think that's part of the main reason why I kept Tuesday such a short day because I knew this book was probably going to take us a little bit longer to read. All right and then on Wednesday the 27th um, Spy Wednesday is uh, there we're going to read um, the book I'm sorry we're going to watch the video on um, Judas and who he was and how he played a role in the the Easter story uh, so we're going to watch a video on Judas on Wednesday and then we're just really going to talk about uh, the disciples and who they were um, and you know what they what they did like so the focus for Wednesday the 27th is going to be Judas and just all of the disciples in general and then for Thursday the 28th I have um, we are going to talk about the story of um, when Jesus um, washed his disciples feet um, and one of the ways that I'm I decided to kind of incorporate that is I have um, my own little spa that my husband got me um, as a gift um, I thought it would be fun if I kind of enacted the scene of Jesus washing um, the feet and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably just throw in a little bubbles in that little uh, spa bath and let Liam dip his feet in there and just kind of relax and then um, after that I will go ahead and clean his feet wash his feet off and then explain um, the story behind that and then another thing that I wanted to do for that Thursday is I wanted Liam and I to make our own sourdough bread so we will be doing that on that Thursday um, so the the cleaning of the feet and all that that's probably going to be a very um just very fast um something that we do because it is going to take a little bit longer to make the sourdough bread um and so then i also do have this uh beginner's bible the very first easter so at, while the bread while we're waiting for like the bread to rise or the bread in the oven i will probably um read this book to liam the very uh the very first easter another thing that i bought um for easter and this was something that was supposed to be done on easter sunday so i had purchased this before i had known kind of what was going on but I still do want to say it because I, I think this is such a great thing to have for Easter. And it is the Resurrection Eggs. I got this off of, um, I also ordered it at the Christian Bookstore along with um, the Hidden Pictures book. Uh, so if you don't know what um, Resurrection Eggs are, let me get them out of here. And I think I paid like $10 for this, for these eggs. They were on sale. I don't know if they are still on sale, but when I did purchase them, they were on sale for $10.99, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So what you will get in the box is it comes with, it comes with the booklet, and this booklet is going to, go with the eggs so I will talk about this booklet here in a little bit and then you get some you get some stickers too that um, I think it comes with two so I think some of the stickers you can put on the Easter eggs here to decorate and then the other ones I think are just like extra because like these little butterflies and flowers I think those are just like extra stickers that just came in the box and then you will also get um let's see 
so it looks like it almost looks like a bookmark type thing um, and then it it breaks it down by um, eggs like the number of eggs and it gives you a Bible verse there that you you know can read to your uh, child um, and then it also does have like little stories uh, from what I can kind of see and then on the other on the other side of I, I just I just want to call these bookmarks so on the other side of the bookmark um, it kind of explains a little bit more um, and then it also gives you just like some ideas of things that you can do to kind of incorporate um, Easter um, and I think there might be some games game game ideas on the back of these so yeah and then the Easter eggs so if you don't know what the resurrection eggs are is you get um, 12 eggs and then each egg represents something with Easter so for let me see which for example so here's here's one egg you know so on the inside of it is a crown of thorns so what you would do is you would open up the Easter egg you would then come to your booklet and then you would look for, oh, it's, it is in, in Spanish on one side and then it is in English on the other side, by the way. Uh, but anyway, so you would go into your book, you would find the item that you just pulled out. Um, let me see if I can find that. Uh, okay, right here. So crown of thorns. And then it, uh, tells you the Bible verse and then after that it, it's a little um, story or how that item inside the Easter egg represents Easter. Uh, so as we all know, a uh, corn of thorns was a uh, crown of thorns, sorry, was placed on his head. Um, so that's why there is uh, thing of crown of thorns so in some of the other um, eggs so one of the eggs has like a whip you know we, we know that uh, Jesus had to walk with the cross and during that he was whipped on his back and just everywhere so that's one another item in the eggs and then I'll let's do one more and then we've got some coins in another egg so each egg has a representation of something uh, and then it it tells you in this booklet what each thing represents and why so i definitely recommend um having some resurrection eggs and you can find these um lots of places I know Amazon has some Amazon when I was looking on there had them a little bit more expensive now you do have to be careful with Amazon because Amazon sometimes just sells you the resurrection eggs and the stickers there is nothing inside the eggs basically the stickers um, that it comes with with some of the ones on Amazon it, you just stick it on the inside of the egg and you open it and then the sticker's in there and then you talk about the sticker which is fine if that's what you want to do that's awesome but I think to me it gives it uh, more a better visual if my kids can actually see the item instead of just a sticker of the item but again that's you know personal preference for some people um, if you want to do that and I think I also did see on Amazon that Amazon just has the eggs and then the box that says resurrection eggs on it but the eggs actually have nothing in them nor does it come with stickers you have to purchase your own little 
item to put in the sticker in the I'm sorry in the egg um, yourself so that that to me kind of seems like a pain but <laughs> I'm sorry good but yeah so that's um oh and then I forgot I created this um chain for my for Liam and every day for the month of March he will he has been uh, ripping off one of these chain links and then in the chain link is um, a Bible verse that he has to look up in the Bible and then I will read it. He is still learning how to read so that's why he won't read it but I am already teaching him how to find Bible verses and stuff like that so I created this chain link for him to do every day for the month of March. And the Bible verses do have to do with um, Easter as well. So, or I guess not not necessarily Easter, but you know, sin entering the world. Also, there's some Bible verses of that in there too. And then just like the washing of the feet, the disciples. So um, yeah, so there's different Bible verses for the chain link. Um, but yeah, that is what I have um, for Liam when it comes to Easter. I'm a little bummed that this change that's coming is kind of falling on Easter just because Easter is such an important uh, day for us. But it was kind of just, that, that's just how it happened. So we'll see we'll see how how it plays out if i know um later on in this month that okay nope we're pushing it to april um then i can finish with my scheduling for what we're going to do friday saturday and sunday um, but until now i just have sunday the 24th up until thursday the 28th since that's where i know for sure for sure we are going to be home um but yeah, that is what I have planned for Liam's um, homeschool. I will link everything that you saw in this video in the description. Um, but yeah, and then until next time, thank you.